Hi folks, I'm Rob and, I'm and, Nate. and we are two guys in a ride. Today we're taking a look at a 2019 Toyota Tundra and this is the Platinum Edition. But hey, somebody had a birthday this week and he not only found the hill, he went over the hill and now he's 50 years old and because of that I got him a little present, a little chocolate present. So before I throw this to him, let's get out there and let's take a ride. You definitely want to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota in Mankato. And as always, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Introduced in 1999, the Toyota Tundra was the first full-size Japanese-made uh, pickup truck uh, made here in America. And it's actually made in San Antonio, Texas. And actually, one of its trim levels, the 1794 version, comes from the uh, ranch that was actually on the same exact site where the Tundra is manufactured in Texas today. Weekend warrior, job site companion, the Tundra is loaded with get-it-done attitude and off-road power. There are six trim levels available, the SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, 1795 Edition, and the TRD Pro. Prices range from $31,420 to $49,645 starting MSRP. The Tundra is driven with a six-speed automatic transmission. The Tundra has an integrated brake controller, supplemental oil cooler, supplemental transmission cooler, heavy duty battery, 170 amp alternator, and a 4-7 pin connector. There is a 38 gallon fuel tank and fuel mileage ratings are 13 city, 18 highway, 15 combined for the 4x2 crew max. Up front you see the uh, LED trimmed headlights and they are LED high and low beam and then integrated fog lights as well. I love the trim of the grill. It is a matte black gray look and then I love this extra little grill part up here in the hood and you see it's got a little bit of a power dome as well now on the platinum version we've got the 20 inch wheels and these are absolutely gorgeous and you can see the running boards the chrome tipped mirrors and Toyota has really done a nice job with this vehicle in uh, giving it some nice character lines, making it look very masculine, and lots of room inside with that double cab. Now it does have an independent coil spring double wishbone front suspension with a live axle with trapezoidal multi-leaf rear suspension. And I was saying before, you can get anywhere from 18 to 20 inch wheels. Now, this vehicle has a 10.4 inch ground clearance. I really like the tail lights. You can see nice jewel-like featured. They are not LED and the backup light is incandescent as well. I really like how uh, the Tundra name has been stamped into the tailgate. The handle says Toyota, and then you, of course you've got your rear view mirror, so you can see the things behind you, but it's also usable for trailering. Speaking of that, there's a trailer hitch, and we talked about the seven and four pin connector. This is the four by four trim. Even on this uh, very large tailpipe outlet, you can see the Toyota emblem on that. Attention to detail, I like that. You see the character lines on the side of the vehicle, the chrome door handles. One of the nice things I like too, looking at the bed size, you can see that, but on the tailgate, it's nicely dampened. 
All right, payload capacity is 1,600 pounds to 1,660 pounds. There are three bed sizes. There's the five and a half foot short bed, six and a half foot standard bed, and the 8.1 foot long bed available. Underneath the hood is the 4.6 liter iForce V8 with double overhead cam, 32 valve uh, engine producing 310 horsepower, 327 uh, foot-pound of torque, or you can get, as we have here, the 5.7 liter aluminum iForce V8 with double overhead cam, 32 valve, producing 381 horsepower and 401 pound-foot of torque. That will give you great towing potential. And like I said, it can tow up to 10,100 pounds. And I really do like how on the hood, it's not the old typical springs that you have in older cars, but it's got the shocks that really hold the hood up nicely. And I'll give you a closer shot of the engine. Very quiet for V8. Now this car has a standard uh, traditional type of key to where it, on the key itself you have the lock and unlock. There are no outside lock or touch areas or sensors to lock and unlock. And even when you get inside the car, you do have to insert the key in the standard keyhole um, on the steering column. It does not have the push button start. This is a little bit of an older platform for Toyota, but it is still a fantastic truck. It's still in 2007 when the uh, basic overall architecture of this vehicle came out. It was heavily overbuilt at that time as far as the frame, the brake, the steering knuckles, the, the suspension, everything, and it has proven its worth. It's uh, well uh, lived a long time on this basic platform, and I know um, Toyota will be upgrading it in the next few years. You can also see though that on the uh, mirrors you do have the turn signal indicators in there. One little cool nice piece of attention to detail is the little wind foil there. That helps reduce the wind noise around the rear view mirrors. This vehicle does come with the splash guards. I'll give you a quick look underneath at the front suspension. And as you saw in the introduction video, that rear, rear window does roll completely down. And that's a really neat uh, idea. And this one actually has the cargo management system as well. You can see you've got, you can put little cleats right in that track system. Okay, Nathan, why don't you take the folks on a tour of the inside and show them all the technology that's built into this vehicle. All right, thanks, Rob. Come in, in guys. This vehicle comes with integrated trailer brake controller with a multi-information display monitoring screen and trailer brake type, gain and manual trailer brake output controls. This is on the 5.7 liter V8 only. It comes with an anti-theft engine immobilizer with alarm, trailer sway control, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and color keyed rear bumper, front and rear parking assist sonar, a tire pressure monitoring system, the star safety system, which includes vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. It also includes the Toyota Safety Sense, which includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with sway warning system, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. This vehicle also comes equipped with the Entune Premium JBL audio system, which includes integrated navigation and the Entune app suite. It is a 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen display with split-screen display, an AM-FM radio, an HD radio, a CD player, 
12 JBL speakers, including subwoofer amplifier, auxiliary ports, USB media port, advanced voice recognition, hands-free phone capability, phone book access, and music streaming via Bluetooth wireless technology. It also has Siri Eyes Free, which allows you to operate Siri from the steering wheel. Predictive traffic and Doppler weather overlay, Sirius XM satellite, which is included with a three-month all-access trial. On the inside of the 2019 Toyota Tundra, and we happen to be in a Platinum Edition, the driver's seat comes standard with an eight-way power and a two-position lumbar. Moving over to the left side of the steering wheel, you've got you know your powered mirrors, you've and they are power folding as well. You've got your door light switch. You've got your uh, switch for your light in the bed. Uh, you got your auto uh, auto lights on or off, and then your rear sliding window, which is an awesome feature. So I'll push that down here, and you can roll down your whole rear window all the way down or all the way up. In addition to your power sliding moonroof. Moving over to the driver's door here, you've got your uh, you've got two position memory seats as well as your typical windows and door lock controls. You got a nice storage area down here. It's big and long. You've got nice, um, th these are uh, harder touch uh, surfaces, these plastics up here. You've got some nice stitching on the dashboard on the soft touch parts. You've got a, um, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the steering wheel. You've got some controls left and right, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You've also got some down here on the uh, arms that come down. Up on the dashboard, you have uh, analog gauges with a driver's multi-informational display in the middle. Over here on the passenger side, we have four-way power and two-position lumbar. We have a nice storage area down here. You've got a uh, glove compartment back here. This is really kind of nice. They have little uh, trays built in, little shelving. They have shelves built in, which is handy. You've got very nice leather seating. It looks very nice. And that same pattern from the seats carries over onto the dashboard. And then on the passenger's door, you have your standard window and lock controls, as well as quite a bit of storage down in here. Moving up over to the uh, center of the dash, you do have a nice storage area here. It's just kind of this vehicle comes equipped with a Entune audio system. It's the JBL system, so it has the 12 speakers, including a subwoofer. And it has uh, voice recognition and navigation. And another interesting feature, which is I hope to try out a little bit when we're on the road, and that is, uh, in addition to having a traffic alert, you have a weather, uh, like a Doppler weather radar that's supposed to overlay uh, somehow on the screen. I'm not sure how and we'll, hopefully we'll find out. Uh, but basically, um, you got your CD player up here, which is really nice that it has a CD player. I like that personally. You got very physical buttons left and right. Your home key brings you back to whatever you were, you're at here. In this case, it's a split screen navigation and radio. App screen, okay, so this is where you can set up your phone. Um, look at messages, traffic, weather, Okay, not available for that service, so we may not be able to try that when we drive. Um, there's your audio. And uh, you can also um, plug in your phone through this system here. If I go to audio a minute, I get just the audio sources, AM, FM, XM radio, and then of course Bluetooth audio, unless you're connected to uh, the USB at the bottom. And we'll try that out in a little bit. Okay, so if I try to use Bluetooth to connect to the stereo and play music at the same time while filming, it did not like that, my camera. So, um, but I was able to access music on my phone. 
I was able to uh, use Siri on my phone uh, to make a phone call. And this is the button that I use right here. Just phone on and phone off. I just pressed that and Siri came on. And so it's nice to be able to have that Siri control. Okay, so just a final note on the on the stereo system. Um, so this one, um, this audio system does not support Apple CarPlay uh, or Android Auto, uh, but it does connect via Bluetooth, and you can do things like go look through your phone directory, call anyone that's on your phone, access Siri. Um, this does come with navigation built-in navigation okay. and then you can uh, on your phone when it's connected via Bluetooth you can like skip tracks and go back and forth as well hey moving on down here you have um, your temperature climate control system so down here you have got um, temperature for the driver you have, it's dual zone temperature for the passenger and of course if you push the sync button as is typical in Toyotas both will lock together got your front and rear defrosters recirculation the mode for whatever wherever you want the air blowing and then of course your fan speed control you do have heated and ventilated front uh, front driver and passenger seat automatic climate control all right, down here you've got your um, auxiliary plug-in along with your USB. And again, yeah, it's nice that Toyota's provided a, a three, I don't know if you can see that, a 3.5 millimeter jack as well as a USB jack. Two 12-volt 12, uh, 12 outlets. Uh, a smaller cup holder right up here, dual cup holders up here. And then over here, when you get to the uh, arm console, you pull up on here, you're gonna have one gigantic center storage area under the armrest with a 12 volt power outlet down there. You also do have on the back side of this, you've got some a clip here for holding papers. You've got, uh, could be another holder here for a cell phone or something similar to that. You got pencils and pens or uh, to hold right there. So they've actually used the, the cover of the armrest as well for storage. Very nice. Moving over here is all your, uh, some of your safety features along with your trailer uh, stuff. So you have a tow haul mode, which just basically takes it out of overdrive. You got traction control on or off. You got the uh, parking sensors on or off. Then here is your trailer brake uh, output where you can set the gain uh, and adjust that. That's really nice, it's just built in just like that. This is uh, a key start vehicle. That is not a push start. To do that, I want to take a look um, at the top part here. I don't know if you can see here, but we've got the tilt up and down feature for the moonroof and then the sliding button. Over here, if I open this up, you got a sunglass holder right here. And you, of course, have your lights over here. Both driver and passenger have illuminated vanity mirrors. These are telescoping, I call these, telescoping uh, sun visors here, which is, I, I like that feature. I use that a lot. Same thing over here on this side. Okay, on the mirror up here, you have your home link controls, which are uh, look just a little different, but they're right here, right here, and right here. And then over here, you have, this is a, a power dimming, mirror so you can turn that feature on or off have on this tundra is if you watch carefully you're gonna see that little middle pane move go ahead Rob so when you are trailering if you need to re-aim your lights a little bit there is a switch on your left side of your steering column that allows you to adjust that so here is the switch right here that I'm talking about so you can just simply rotate these. So you have five positions, including zero, which would I assume would be sort of the auto position for driving. Okay, so talking about the uh, multi-information display in the middle here, 
Let's get started here. I'm first of all just going to take and press my right arrow. And you notice it changes the display in the middle. Also note on the top, you got the little blue light. Okay, that's highlighting whatever uh, system I'm accessing. So your left and right arrows will bring you across the menu. Right, and then it will start you back over at the beginning again. The up and down arrows will then actually take you into whatever is else is available on that same page, that same menu. Okay. So here's like, for instance, your, your trailer brake output settings, um, tire pressure monitoring, and so on. So if I go to the left one arrow, and I'm on the, the Bluetooth for the phone, which is not connected right now, I mean, nothing happens with the, uh, the up and down arrows. If I just use the left arrow, I go to the next system, compass, and so on. Now, if I want to see the safety systems here, so I can control those and make some changes on them. So if I go into, where is it here? I got to find it. There we go, vehicle settings. So I go up, here I go. So I do have a little center button with a dot. And if this is um, the rear cross path detection, if I click on that little button with a dot I showed you, right there, turns it off. Now I turn it back on again. So you get the idea, you scroll to one, using the arrows, and then you press that if you want to turn it on or off. So this is how you access all those safety systems we talked about. Okay? You also have uh, just regular vehicle settings that you can access, brightness of your screen, um, the volume for the rear cross traffic area, setting your trailer type. And Toyota's really good about giving you some directions down in here. I don't know if you can read that, but it says, push the dot, to change the trailer brake type. So here would be the dot that you would push. Okay. Um, going down here a little bit more, you've got some more uh, safety systems uh, on and off and adjustments, as well as your phone on and off and your voice command. Here's the, the passenger's door. It has ample storage on the bottom, along with a couple of bottle holders. Okay. You do have folding seats in the rear. You just grab that handle there and it goes right up and both sides have the same handle and you have a lot more room for storage here. You do have seat back mat pockets on passenger and driver side and then down here you have a 12 volt outlet in the middle as well as your uh, venting control. So you can close the controls completely by rotating this knob so the, so the airflow quits, or you can turn them on and then you can direct the airflow for both passengers. Uh, above here, you do have a rear light for the passengers. Uh, you've got two buttons. One's for the right light, one is for the left light. All right, so here I am in the back of the 2019 Toyota Tundra. And we haven't adjusted any of the seats. And, and you normally you talk about inches. I'm talking a foot. A space between my knees and the front it's ridiculous it's it's just in, it is so uh so huge uh and, and i'm five foot eleven and a half and i've got you know just plenty of headroom uh so very spacious back here very spacious all right so here we are off for another ride and adventure on the 29 toyota tundra platinum edition Right away, I, I, I feel like I'm sitting on way up, way, way, way up. up. And yeah. like, I, may, I might need to phone you long distance just to talk to you. <laughs> it is well, a ma it's a massive cab. Boy, but it is luxurious. Holy cow, this is nice. And did you, I know you showed the folks earlier, but the leg room I can see back there, I... You know, we always need an intercom system to talk to the folks yeah, that you would have riding in the back. And I can I can hear the grunt already from the tailpipe. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's got a nice sound. It does. And I notice your outside mirrors are heated. I see the little symbol there. Yes. Okay. 
That is a real plus in our area of the, the world. The climate you definitely Yes. Oh. Well. I'm going to take a nap. You're going to take a nap of this? These seats are amazing. Soft, extremely soft leather. And I just, I absolutely, I love the stitching on the door panels and the dashboard. Uh, it's the uh, the quilted stitching, like you see on some really high, high, yeah. high, I'm talking three, four hundred thousand dollar vehicles, you know the brands. Uh, it really, I like it. I think it really looks nice in here. It's a classy looking interior anyway, but that just steps it up one more notch. Um, you know, it's got the, the, the nice bulges on the top for your hands when you're driving and grip. Um, it's, it, it is not, in this particular model, a heated steering wheel. The seats are comfortable. I like, they're, they're really wide. They, yeah, they you know, are. So, they so you, a lot of, yeah, and a lot of a thigh lot of room. support. That's so one thing I noticed. They're just they're, really wide. They're deep, too, so you get the thigh support out front. Yeah. I do have the dynamic cruise control engaged. Oh. And this is a little different than the previous model of the um, RAV4 that we drove where it had dynamic cruise control. So this one is great to use on the highway when you're following somebody. Okay. It'll do the same thing. It'll keep you a set distance. Um, if someone starts to slow down, it'll slow you down. However, it doesn't work to a complete stop. Oh. So the the full range, the, the full range dynamic radar cruise control will actually stop you. Okay. Like the like the RAV4 did. Okay. This one is more meant for when you're on the highway. Not for stop and go traffic, but still a very nice feature. Well, think of it this way: When do you use cruise control? Yeah, exactly. When you're on the highway. Yep. When you sit in idle, it's very quiet. Wow, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that had a great sound. You can imagine that on dirt or snow. Oh or yeah, rocks. It's, I mean, you you'd, you'd throw rocks for a yeah, mile everywhere with that. Uh, yeah, that no, we're not doing that. that. A lot of torque there. Sorry, you're going over some uh, more. It's a, a, a side road now. We're hitting bumps and ridges, and you know the wonderful roads in Minnesota. And you feel the bumps. You know they're there. But again, it's a soft cushioned tap on the shoulder. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's a bump under this yeah, tire. It, it don't is, mind us. It's a refined drive. All right, so we're going to pull over here and let Rob drive. Want to see how it feels a little bit and how it handles on a little bit of ice and snow. I'm trying to get the break it loose to tell a little bit, but nope. All the little nannies and uh, traction control and all that step right in and take care of you. So we're getting back on the road. I'm just going to switch it back over to two. Boy, you're right. This does sit up, but it, it's a nice commanding view you yep. i feel like i can see for miles and I, I feel like i'm looking over a house top you really do i mean it's a it's a like a penthouse view you step oh. on it and it just it responds like you're, there's no tomorrow right you're there quick there's yep. a lot of grunt love the steering wheel it's night nice, it's a thick steering wheel so it's nice and comfortable to your hands it's not a little skinny you know steering wheel that makes you really grip it hard to hold on to it just falls nicely to hand very comfortable it is fairly quiet in here. Yeah. You could have a conversation with the people in the rear seat. Yeah, I can get to uh, cruise speed very quickly and just effortlessly. The only down thing, the down uh, side of a couple of the things like on the door panel up front here, uh, right yeah. above the door handle is hard to touch hard plastics. Plastic. Uh, everywhere else is pretty much soft touch wherever your hand would fall except for you know where the switches are but that's typically hard plastics around there I do like the trim on the door I mean that it is really nice they've done yeah. I think they've done a nice job of uh, just you know slight shades of the same color yeah it's know, a, a black, black interior and a light black and right. silver and black interior on a black truck but it isn't you know, it's it's darker in here, but it's not dour. It's not a, a letdown. It's it, it. There's nice chrome accents in the right places that give it enough sparkle. What it does have, though, is it does have multiple 12 volt outlets. Okay. So there's two down here in the front, and there's one in the rear. So you can get the little plug-in right, thing. Right. Get the little plug-ins with the double or USB. Dual. Okay. Right. Right. And then you'd have all the plug-ins you want. So. Uh, and one nice thing about the Toyota Tundra, I do have to say. It does hold its value, its resale value. It is a uh, goodbye. 
because go and see and try to find one five years old, three three years off lease, five years old, seven years old, and I'm amazed at anyway the resale value on these is extremely high because they are completely still very capable and competitive uh, pickup trucks in the market. All right, well we're almost at the end of our ride. Uh, you know, overall it's a it's it's extremely comfortable, quiet uh, vehicle. I love it. It's got uh, a refined interior. Yeah, very much so. Refined powertrain. It's nice to have the power passenger stuff on the seat. Yeah. Yep. That I want to remind you to please subscribe to our yes. channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and if you will, just leave any comments below. Uh, but yeah, I, I do have um, have a favorite. Have you picked out your favorite? Yet? Yes, I have. Okay, we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, so I'm going first. My favorite feature, amongst many, is this little feature. The power rear window, where the whole entire thing goes down. That's my favorite. Rob, what's yours? Okay, so my favorite feature is, again, I like the little things. I like the details, and I really love the quilted stitching that they've put on this Platinum version. Not only is it there on the dashboard, but then they've done an excellent job with it over here. And let's see if we can get the light right. But also on the door panels, and that's uh, front and rear. Uh, again, I, it's attention to detail, and it tells you a lot about the engineering and the build quality of the vehicle. I think that's just fantastic. It's all right. Next I think, oh, I thought this is where we got off last no, time. you kept going on up to the second one. Well, I'm taking a new way to All right. So... <laughs> You cut that out, I yawned. It's not because you're boring. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay, yes it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're reviewing the 2025 Toyota yeah. because it's taken Nathan that long to get out of that little community. Uh, um, I'm not lost. <laughs> you I just don't not, know where you're going. I am yet. not stopping to ask for directions. <laughs> I am man. I will get lost in my own good time. See, here we are. Right where we started from. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the next day, 